Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. And today we have Devin Herz. He's founder of Dynamic Marketing Consultants, also known as DMC. He has over 20 years experience in helping businesses break through the clutter. You said this in an interview and I liked it and I put it in here. You help businesses break through the clutter with direct marketing to get more customers. Their past clients include University of Colorado, Allstate, GKIC, Fight Night Productions. We'll talk about some of their campaigns, which are really cool, and numerous small businesses like dentists, lawyers, and fitness professionals. Devin, thanks for joining me. Jeremy, thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. And Devin, you know, since the Inspired Insider, I always ask the question about what's been the lowest moment and then how you pushed forward through that. Sure. And then the flip side what's been the proudest moment because running your own business is really rewarding but it's it's tough as well oh, yeah. what's oh, yeah. been That's pros and cons right? yeah what's been the lowest moment the lowest moment um i would say that that my business was on the edge of failure um no matter what i did um and of course this happened when everything in the world was coming down on all of us and i hate using that as an excuse so i always try to just keep it out of my vocabulary but it happened to me um, I, I grew my staff, I grew my overhead very large, I tried to follow the e-myth and, and have the right people in place that were better than I were at, at certain things, so uh, my staff grew over 10, 15 people at a time, um, getting printing equipment in-house, so I, you know, things were going great and you expect them to always go great. Um, so you stop marketing or you stop spending money on that. Um, so I would say that, that during the economic downturn that I definitely got hit with that uh, pretty, pretty darn hard. We talked about real estate. I had a lot of real estate business, a lot of real estate agents that were spending thousands of dollars with us on a monthly basis and they mm, just completely yeah. stopped. Um, the realtors that continued to actually spend money, they still did well uh, because everyone else stopped. But um, So I would say that I just, you know, I, I thought things were always going to be going on the up and up and up. Um, so that was really tough. I mean, That's really tough. Yeah. What do you, you do? The, when you go to the 18. I, I did anything I could and uh, probably was not, uh, I probably made a lot of wrong moves. Um, you know, and, and I didn't. I learned too that material things are not nearly as important as I thought they were when I was younger. You don't need to drive the nice cars. A, a decent car is going to get you from point A to B. Um, learning some of those hard lessons of life, um, I guess, was was the tough thing. Going to the ATM machine and you know wondering how the heck am I going to actually withdraw money? How am I going to pay salaries? So um, you know everything from refinancing the house to yeah. to selling certain you know equipment off to to doing whatever I could and. Thankfully, at that time, I had a good friend and happened to be one of my better clients at the time to where we just joined forces and uh, picked this thing back up and we, we really um, took control of it. Um, so I would say that was a highlight once we were really able to to get me back on my feet and, and thanks to, to him for helping me do that. Um, so we were able to grow the business but still wasn't turning the overhead like we wanted or wasn't turning the profits that we wanted to and numbers look great in the book but when you look in the bank account there was nothing really mm -hmm. there so um, a couple years ago and I would say um, probably uh, a scary moment of mine was where I took over the business solely along with my wife um, which is uh, everyone says is a no-no but uh, thankfully we have different roles in the business mm -hmm. uh, she really handles the front end of things the accounting the uh, vendors that we work with and it's, it's been a blessing it's mm -hmm. uh been the best move for me ever um, and just understanding that we don't need to stick with who we are at that particular point you can always evolve you can always mm -hmm. change you can always come up with different ideas um, and then you ask something that that other business owners don't do is that they're so stuck in their ways that they feel that they change that things are going to just fall apart um, but yet meanwhile they fall apart because they don't change um, so I, I would say evolving, seeing how we can really fit the needs of business owners. Um, so that's where we came on now uh, as dynamic marketing consultants, that we are more hands-on with our clientele. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not doing everything and anything for everyone. We're picky and choosy on who we work with. We want people to understand and respect what we do. Yeah. Um, and our clients are very, very involved still in their marketing. They do give feedback. We're not always 100% right. They know their business better than we do. Uh, but we do really dive into the business. We do a ton of R&D. Uh, and, and really, by the time we come out of it, we know more 
about dental, more about uh, industrial products, right. uh, stuff about more gyms. More than you ever want to know yeah. about some of this stuff. No, there's 20, 26 positions in Bikram Yoga and you got to do this and that. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's, uh, you know, the things that we learn. So we get very, very entrenched, entrenched with the, uh, the clients that we're doing work for. Yeah. And those clients either come to us for... Uh, focus on maybe one particular campaign or one effort, um, but I would say most of our clients now are coming board uh, on board more for a long, longer time period, um, uh, monthly type of um, fee that we get <clears throat> to be their right right arm and really be their full marketing team. I mean, the prices that we charge. Uh, are a lot less than what it would take for you to go out and hire a full-time designer. Sure. Um, and we're not just a designer. We got the, the copywriting covered. We understand direct response copy, uh, design that is going to grab attention, and then, of course, all the printing experience and, and software behind us to actually get things implemented, where a lot of consultants who come to business owners with great ideas say, here you go, here's all the ideas, good luck. <clears throat> we really want to take it from start to finish to where we can get things out there to people and we can start pulling in opportunities and leads for the clientele. Yeah. Devin, do you think you were able, like you were saying, changing course is huge and it's also scary. Do you think you were able to do that because you saw your dad? I mean, you, you kind of saw that even early on. Did that have any effect on how quickly you changed or what you changed to? It did, and it took me some failures to not change as quickly as I should have. You know, and then back to the staff and overhead. You know, I mean, there's you get so connected with your staff that you, you know, you really should probably let them go and do whatever you can to lower the overhead. But you're thinking things are going to turn around. So, <clears throat> again, with mistakes, um, yes, yeah, seeing what my dad did back in the day and how he shifted when when things were going downwards in his uh, industry, um, I think was was definitely something that I did follow. And us always, I think there was always this mentality or always this vision that I had on who we really were. Um, and you don't always hit the bullseye with name of companies and, and how you're doing things and positioning yourself. And, and as we evolved, you know, things worked, some things didn't. But, um, you know, now we're, we're at a, a place that I couldn't be any happier um, with, with who we are and, and what yeah. we're doing for our clients. So it's, uh, it, it takes time and you're going to be through ups and downs and yeah. owning a business. But, uh, you know, I can literally, with, with technology, I can... Be in Australia working right now. I can be on an island somewhere working right now. We're, we're connected, and uh, the way that we structured this business, it allows us to have freedom, which I think life is is really about all about. Um, I mean, we, we're workaholics. Myself, my wife, and a lot of our team is are workaholics, which is great. But we also know how to take time out for ourselves and have fun, um, and that's something that I also instill in, in other business owners. That it's just not about what can we do to get the revenue up, what can we do to get you an extra vacation week in, in here so you can go relax. Right, and, right. Uh, so those are things that we're digging more into and, and getting more involved. So uh, we all have not only financial goals but also personal goals that we're trying to yeah. achieve, which I, I want to know about from my clientele. Yeah. No, Don, I appreciate you sharing that because that's a very tough time for people to share but it, it really is relatable and people can kind of that hits home for people what about the proudest moment proudest moment yeah um I, I would say um really um just our our, our evolution over the last couple of years um and i would say that i'm, I'm probably on the, the highest of highs right now from from our last year and, and where we we've come from and some of uh, the, the learning curves and, and how our business came from where I was down in the dumps back up and uh, last year we just had a stellar year um, there's not only keeping the clientele happy but it's keeping the systems in line making sure that we have a lot of moving parts I mean you're dealing with uh, 50 different clients at a time and Three drop campaigns that have six components yeah. and all. So I mean, there's so many. A lot to keep things. track of. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it really, really is. And um, so I would say that just being able to come out uh, this past year as as a nice uh, profitable year, and we've had a handful of profitable years, but I would say this year was nice. But uh, more than that is the fact that the clients that we're working with are yeah. sticking by our side. They're spending more money with us. They see the value in us, and they're getting results, and they're actually getting higher revenues and, and response rates, like I told you earlier. And uh, that's why I'm that's why I'm in this. I mean, I have a passion for marketing, but um, to know that we're not only helping our business grow and get better, we're helping other businesses grow and get better. I mean, that's what what really gets me going in the morning. Yeah. Was there a celebratory moment that you like? 
you got a certain client, you're like, wow, I've made it. I mean, not, not really you've made it, but wow, I got this client. This is this was, I looked up to them, they were a mentor of mine, and we got them as a client, or, or something like that, that is, was personal to you. Yeah, we've, uh, I'm not sure, but I guess from, from internet and from our marketing capabilities, we've had some really, really cool um, opportunities and cool projects that we've worked on. Um, I think uh, way back when I was uh, picked up by Exit Realty Corporate based out of Canada. Um, <clears throat> little old me in, in Tampa ends up developing their entire franchise marketing system, wow. um, developing all these different templates for their realtors so they could streamline their marketing. They weren't just running to Kinko's to get crappy business cards printed. They were all going through our system. Uh, that was really, really cool to be uh, honored in that way, to be part of their events. Um, that was nice. Um, working with a lot of the local sports teams, uh, we did uh, some work with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, we used to do a lot of their printing and fulfillment, and we had some trade out agreements. So I had nice seats for the Lightning. So that was always fun. Right. Um, I'm trying to think of uh, the the list goes on. Really, I mean, we've mm -hmm. uh, done work directly with Allstate Corporate, which was really. Uh, interesting to take that on. We've uh, also helped them out. They were trying to pass a bill in New York um, re regarding raid aviation people that were actually living in New York, but they were their addresses were based in Pennsylvania, so they're paying less taxes. Um, so we produced a video book for them to uh, help them actually pass a law, which was cool, and wow. it, it worked. Um, uh, let's see, where else is that? Um, we did uh, the American Airlines Arena, so uh, a video book that's actually got Mark Cuban's little fake uh, signature in it. It's pretty cool to, to work with him. Um, it, it really is all over the board. I'm, I'm just looking around to see if there's anything else that, that sparks any uh, other uh, intrigue. I mean, we're doing software software company. I mean, this is something that was sent as a, a third drop mailer, which is a, a pop phone that you can what is plug it? into your you can plug right into your uh, cell phone. Oh, really? So, uh, yep. Yeah. So instead of having your cell phone up to your head and some, you know, if, if you think it uh, does hilarious. affect the brain. So it actually so works. Yeah, it, oh, it works great. So instead of a headset, you got this. Just imagine driving around like this these days. <laughs> um, but this was, this was a last chance type of mailer. You know, okay, it's your last chance. All you need to do is plug this into your phone and give us a call. So this was a part of a mail campaign that was the final drop. I love it. Um, you know it's going to stay around. It's got their brand on it. Um, so fun, crazy things like that. Um, Rubik's cube, um, you know, solving the puzzle, um, and you know, done different die cuts um, that are just oh, unique yeah. shapes. Um, this was for Susan Berkeley, the voice of AT and T. So we helped her out. Um, this is something we developed for her. She had people opting into a low-value um, program on her her website, but she wanted to send out a nice welcome kit. So this went along with um, a box of tea. She's all about speaking and, and all that, so she had a nice box of tea in there mm -hmm. uh, with another so. to-go coffee mug. So that was a welcome pack that we did. And then, um, I mean, just some of the, the crazy things that we do with uh, folds and die cuts. Oh, yeah. Um, this is called a flip piece, and I'm going to try to do this backwards. So <laughs> it's like crazy. when you were a kid and you have those little... Uh, Origami. Yep, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's easier for me to do it when I'm, I'm actually uh, having it in front of me. So there you go. Wow. Uh, and then it just That's flips pretty back. cool. So you're able to get four different unique messages on one, one little piece of material. Um, 3D glasses that we've got, too. Um, what do people these, use those for? Oh, you can see they make you look weird. Um, but uh, this was actually, I used this in a campaign right around uh, July 4th. So, um, you know, seeing fireworks with uh, that kind of visual. Ah, oh, I got you. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's quite interesting. So um, little things like that. But uh, yeah. we, just, we just love to have fun and, and push the envelope wherever we can, really, yeah. to, to, to get that impact. <laughs>